If you're looking for a good vlogging camera that's coming in at a good price point, maybe a little bit under the DJI Pocket 3 or the Sony ZV-1F or even the Canon V10, I want you to think about the DJI Action 4. Now, I know it's geared towards action and adventure and extreme rugged sports, but I'm none of that. And I still found a good reason to have the Action 4 in my kit, in my arsenal, and I'll tell you why. First, it's so small and compact. It almost weighs nothing and that means you can take it almost anywhere. I don't doubt for one minute that this can fit in almost any handbag that I need and the small compact size also gives you a ton of flexibility. Which brings me to number two. I love the action cam mounting system because they have so many different options. I mean, you can put it on a tripod, you can put it on a selfie stick, you can put it on all kinds of car mounts and, and even hang them from you know, holes and all these different things. I don't think you will ever really have a problem mounting the camera wherever you want it to go. It's got a little bit of magnetic capability. So again, you can pretty much mount this thing wherever you need it to go and you're gonna be good. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, what about the image quality? I think for the price point, it's really good. DJI, I'm convinced, has a proprietary system that makes their images look the, the absolute best that they can. I always say garbage in, garbage out. So make sure that you are filming in the best possible conditions, but DJI is going to do the rest, right? With that being said, they're going to do most of the heavy lifting. Now, the focal length is a little bit wider than I'd like. Even on the standard mode, the focal length is about 15 millimeters. When you're looking at some of your other cameras in the vlogging space, you're going to be looking at about 18 to 20 millimeters. So this one is a little bit wide at 15 millimeters. And I'll be honest with you, that's even cropped in some because natively I think it likes to shoot at 11 or 12. Again, this is geared towards action, but 15 millimeters, it can be pretty good for vlogging. Like I said, it's just a little wide for my preference, but it works. It gets the job done. You can use an external microphone with the DJI Action 4. Um, I actually have the DJI microphone and it works just fine. You can't really plug in a 3.5 millimeter microphone, but anything USB related should work with this just fine. But the DJI microphone system will work with this because I, I currently use it. Last but not least, the reason I recommend this for vlogging is because you do have the selfie option here. So you've got the viewfinder on the front, you've got the viewfinder on the back. I mean, they've got you covered whichever direction you've got the camera, and even if you want to take it a step further, the mounting bracket that comes with this makes it so easy to mount this both vertically and horizontally. So all in all, if you're looking for a vlogging camera that you can take with you on the go, you can have it out in the outdoors with you. Don't want to have a lot of equipment and draw a lot of attention to yourself, consider the DJI Action 4. I don't think you'll be disappointed and for me it's definitely a keeper.